Today we would like to show you the Four Coat Solutions 950 and 950X serial keypad for use with Zebra ZBI enabled printers. The 950 and 950X have been developed to meet the needs for a cost effective control device for label printers which allows them to offer standalone price competitive label printing applications. This solution is initially targeted at such sectors as retail for in-store pricing and price markdown and the food and hospitality sector for the producing of labels with perhaps time and date stamps. Uh, it's also aimed at the healthcare sector where time, date and perhaps barcode labelling is often critical. However, there are many other areas where this combination of printer and keypad can be used to produce a flexible labelling solution, perhaps using the keypad's barcode reader connectivity option. The 950 and 950X keypads interact with Zebra ZBNI enabled printers such as the GX or the LP desktops seen here, or indeed the QL mobile printers. By utilising the printer's ability to run ZBI applications and call up specific or custom label formats residing on the printer. Depending on the printer model used, dozens if not hundreds of label formats can be stored for recall and use through the keypad. The 950 keypad acts as the interface between the user and the printer and allows the stored label formats or templates to be quickly recalled and the required label type and number of labels printed. In this example we are calling up an asset tag format which is the format number 4 in this case. So number 4 is typed in, displayed on the second line and the enter button. It then collects the data. The first question it asks you for is the model number. This can either be typed in or read with an attached barcode reader. Once the model number is typed in, the enter key is pressed. It then asks you for the serial number. Again, this can either be entered on the keypad or read by using a barcode reader. The final question, it asks how many labels would you like to print? In this case, we'll print two. In this instance, we're asking for two labels to be printed. So we've entered two. The printer now prints the labels, the asset tags, which contains both the serial number and the product ID as well as the printed barcode. You can then print more of the same type of label format or if you hit the format button it will take you back to the beginning ready to use another label format. Input on the keypad can also be alpha as well as numeric by utilising the alpha key to switch between modes. Additional characters utilised in alpha numeric mode can be seen on each of the specific key tops and are laid out in a very similar fashion to a mobile phone. The alpha key in the top left is also used to switch back to numeric input. If a mistake is made, then input can be adjusted there and then by using the backspace key on the top right hand side. There are also two additional keys in the centre of the top row that can be used for user specific functions within their specific ZBI application. Perhaps the two user-defined function keys could be used within their ZBI application 
for jumping to something like a very common format that's being used. In addition to these functions, the 950 and 950X has a built-in real-time clock function. In this example we again see the asset tag format being used, but this time after entering the model and serial numbers, you're prompted to either enter the time manually on the keypad or accept the time stored in the real-time clock within the keypad by hitting the enter button. You can now see that an asset tag is printed with the addition of the time on the label. In this retail price markdown example, we're going to use the barcode reader function by attaching the barcode and the socket on the back. The first thing we're being prompted for is a product ID which we type in and then we're being asked for the barcode. This has been read from the original label and hitting enter. We then have to put in a shoe size and are then prompted for the new price. prompted for the number of labels. With this label format you could be printing a fresh food item, perhaps a sandwich, after preparing it in a kitchen. First thing you have to enter is the product name and this has been typed in using the alpha function. The next thing that you are prompted for is the product barcode and that is being scanned using the existing product ID and finally you are asked to accept the time from the real time clock on the keypad. You then have to decide how many labels to print and hit enter. The 950X has exactly the same functionality as the 950, except it has an additional 40 programmable function keys which can be used to store such things as label formats, product IDs or indeed any specific information that can be quickly recalled during operation of the keypad and printer. With this example we're using the 950X and are going to print a contents list for a customer, perhaps for a takeaway meal deal. The first thing that you're asked to put in is the date. This can be typed in manually or it can be read from the real time clock. You're then prompted to enter a name. This could be held on the programmable function keys which can be marked with individuals and stored under a key top. You can also in the food environment use the wipe clean skin to protect the keys and the unit. After that you're then asked to enter the time and again you can use the real time clock to pull this. You then have to enter the quantity and the labels will be produced. From the printed label you will see that a graphics been added, the date and time as well as the name of the person preparing it. In addition, there's a customer message at the bottom. This video has been designed to give you a brief overview as to the possibilities of what can be done with a Zebra label printer and a Four Coat Solutions 950 keypad combination. These simple examples highlight some of the possibilities and some of the benefits which could be achieved by implementing such a solution. These benefits could include speed of production of your labels, the accuracy of the labels produced, portraying a professional image to your customers and the marketplace and perhaps even complying with all legislative issues in your market sector. We hope that it has been useful and please contact us for more information or with other product ideas or custom projects. Thank you very much.